people. Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock and I have torn a page for you. Many people ask me, what happens if I tear a page? And you're scared to even start Bible journaling because you might tear a page. Well, I deliberately tore one here in the back section of my Bible. This is an, an index section. This particular Bible has lots of pages to do this kind of thing with. So I'm doing a tear the way that my first tear ever happened. I've only probably torn in all these years, like two or three pages. And this is how the first one happened. It was with one of these plastic mats. Paper and plastic stick together. So what you wanna do is let it dry, air dry together as much as possible and don't touch it. I fussed with it just to try to get those two things to two edges to meet up and you can dab off some excess water if there's excess water on there, but let it air dry. You don't wanna heat set it or anything, just let it air dry. And then you've got this nice piece that you can start working your repair with and you can see how big that tear is. And it got worse because of that plastic mat. So be aware of that if you're using wet medium with those plastic mats. So I'm just gonna iron it from the back and iron it so that it's together as much as possible. And then I can take some Scotch magic tape and cover over that completely. And it'll be just dandy fine. Just put the tape over it and then you can trim off the excess off the edge. So don't try to align the tape with the edge of the paper or anything, just trim it afterward. If you're doing this with acrylic paint, and if it's acrylic paint that has caused the mess, acrylic will melt and you don't want to melt it with the iron. But if you do have to iron it a little bit, just so you can at least get something to kind of flatten out a little bit, then iron it for a second, let it cool, iron it for another second, let it cool, and make sure you have something on the other side of it in case you do glue it to the front side because that could be an issue. Now the other thing that you wanna do, if you have a, some sort of an error in your Bible, if you've messed something up, if you've drawn something poorly, if you've torn it, if you've bled through or something, then make a lesson out of it for yourself. And here what I'm gonna write down is, thank you Jesus for using my failures for my good, because he does that all the time. I don't know if he does that for you, but maybe he, he only has to do that for me because I'm more of a failure than most. But I am so grateful that he's able to recover even something like this where I've torn a page. I heard from someone else recently, she said she heard from another Bible journaler that she doesn't worry about when your paint bleeds through. So if you've used a medium that bleeds through onto the other side of the page, she doesn't worry about that because she said, guess who bled for us? Jesus did. So if you have a page that bled through, make the other side about the blood of Jesus. And it will then not feel like you've wrecked that page, you've ruined it, but use it as an object lesson to remind yourself that Jesus bled for you. He uses your failures. He uses your mistakes. He'll turn all of those things to your good if you're doing this with the right heart. And as I've said umpteen times, make sure you're Bible journaling with the right heart, with the focus on Jesus, on the scriptures, on learning more about him, on expressing your love for him. And don't worry about the perfection and trying to make everything so that there's no mistakes because that's not how life is in this fallen world just make an object lesson out of it for yourself. So now I have this little page in the back section of my Bible in the index to remind myself that my failures are not unrecoverable when they are covered by the blood of Jesus. So there you go. Hope that's helpful to you and gives you some courage to move forward in your Bible journaling. Share this with somebody else if you know someone who's scared, and I'll see you again next week. God bless you.